How are you guys doing today? I know some of you love camping and others you've just been thinking about camping but you really don't know how to do it. Today we are going to take you inside and we are going to show you camping skills, things that you need to know to get the maximum benefit from your walk with nature and your living outdoors. So stick with me as we go inside we're going to meet the presenters and they're going to take us through a whole list and array of things that we have to know before we go camping come on let's go in camp arrangement in the bible we are told of the story of the children of israel when they were coming from egypt they get to mount sinai there at Mount Sinai, they camped. They camped according to their tribes. And they camped in a clockwise direction. There God asked uh, Moses to build a sanctuary so that God might dwell amongst them. Camp arrangement. Whenever you are going for camping, you need to camp accordingly so that you avoid accidents, unnecessary accidents. Mind you, going for camping with children in good health, they must return home in good health. There is a standard which is required for all the camps and to prevent accidents. In all the camps, we need to follow the risk management system so as to prevent accidents. Right, let's start with where to camp. Put into consideration, is there water, the weather, is there firewood, the wilderness, the animals surrounding, do we have the permission to do so? How is the weather? When you go and camp, you inspect the ground, the ground is fine for camping. You buy your camping equipment, you carry your camping equipment to the campsite. Are all the children insured? Are all the activities well planned? Here we are at the camp. What do we do first? We pitch our tents. We get to the tents. The ground is level for us to pitch the tents. There are different types of tents. People like different types of tents it's their choice, but there is a lot to consider. There are different types of tents, but I'm going to explain more the common one, the one which I like, the dome tent. There is the dome tent, there is the A-frame tent, there is the tunnel tent. The dome tent to start with, it has got an advantage, a great advantage on weather. When it's wind, it doesn't block the wind, but it improves the aerodynamics, which means that the air, the air or the wind is not able to blow it off. And you have your tent. Make sure that your tent has got good ventilation. All the seams are tight and all the seams are sewn. At your camp, or as you'll be pitching your tents, make sure that all the tents, each tent, all the tents are at least three meters away from each other. The guidelines are not crisscrossing. That prevents children from being entangled by the guidelines. 
boys' turns on their side and the girls' turns on their side. The dom tent is one of good tents, but there is an improvement of another tent, the improvement of the dom tent, the geodesk. It comes with four poles, so it means it reinforces. It can endure all the harsh conditions. Make sure that your tent mustn't be too high but it must be lower. The reason being is, it might have heavy rains, it might have heavy winds, as long as the tent is lower, its, its chances of being affected is very slim. When you are pitching your tent, make sure that you pitch your tents six meters away, at least six meters away from fire. And don't pitch your tent facing the, uh, the wind direction, but it must face the opposite of the wind direction. Sure that all your tents have got mosquito net. Inside your tents, you find that you might want to use the air mattress you might want to use the, uh, the pad. There are different types of air mattresses and sizes. But in each tent, maintain the number, the designated numbers of people in the tent. For example, this one is a three-man tent, which means that three children or three people are going to stay here. You have your sleeping bags. Your sleeping bags, there is a triangular sleeping bag. A triangular tri uh, sleeping bag is defined by its shape. Then there's also the mummy sleeping bag, the name derived from the Egypt Egyptian mummy. All your tents must be well secured, and all the pins are well secured. Avoid making fire inside the tent. As you prepare your campsite, make sure that all your toilets are far Toilets and bathrooms are far from your tents and your camping site. Then get to the kitchen where you keep all your utensils. Keep them clean. With this modern world, a lot of things are changing. Rather use foldable equipment. Foldable camping equipment are available. They are durable. And the prices are reasonable. Your kitchen must be far from your tents. And your cooking place must also be far from your storage uh, place. Make sure that all the foods are well secured and they are all in the right places. You know, at times animals come to the camps. Like here, we normally get stray dogs. Normally, when we are camping close to the village, we get stray dogs. But in other areas, for instance, in Africa, you might also find animals like hyenas visiting the campsite. Animals overseas, you find the bears coming to the campsite. Make sure that your food is well secured. It might be in a locked vehicle. It might be in a, uh, a locked trailer. It might be in a locked container. If you don't have, then hang all your food where the animals cannot reach. 
hang all your foods where the animals cannot reach. Never ever sleep in a tent or keep food in the tent because when the animals are visiting you at night, they are also likely to, uh, to break into the tents. Don't feed the animals. Because the moment the animals have got a habit of being fed by the, animal, by the human beings, they will come to the tent. They will come to your sight. Interesting enough, if you feed one animal, when it's coming back, it will come with its friends. Hence, we are in trouble. All your fires must be far from your storages and from your tents. Make sure that as you'll be cooking, there is nothing that can attract or obscure the fire. It must be a well-ventilated place. All the electrical cords must be far from the reach of the children. Electricity is hazardous to the children. Make sure that as you will be preparing for your campsite, there is a first aid kit. There is also enough time for the children to sleep. Children at night times, they tend to like playing outside. Make sure that there is good security for all the children. Your campsite arrangement is very, very important and you should understand how it works. When you make your fire, don't leave fire unattended. And make sure that you put off the fire soon after cooking or soon after your bonfire. Then you go. Coming back to food. Prepare enough food to be eaten for that meal. Don't store uncooked, uh, don't store cooked food with poor storage means. Only prepare enough food for your meals. At your campsite, make sure that you have got enough light and enough camping lamps. That illumination is enough at the campsite. All your waters must be clean. Drink clean water, and don't forget to bath. Always bath. All the regulations must be taken before you go to the camp. That all the children are insured. That the transport is proper for transporting children and for transporting food. For any emergence, quickly inform those in authority to help you. Those who are more experienced to help you. As the children are at the camp, maintain the bad system. Encourage them to maintain the bad system. That means children, they must move in twos, at least in twos, so that if one of them encounters a problem in an emergency, the other one will rush and report. So it's important. Respect other campers' property. Make sure that good morale is maintained at the camp. With your tools, keep your tools at one, at one place. Your shovels, they must be at one place. Your axes, at one place. Your knives, at one place. And all other equipment, they must be safely 
kept. Don't use any type of fuel that can cause dangers at the camp. Don't use them. Whenever there is an emergency, let everyone know that there is now an emergency. Know how to tackle it. All your dirty clothes mustn't be kept inside the tent. If they are to be kept inside the tent, they might also cause some hazardous. All dirty clothes, put them in the dunk your bag. If you are not using them, keep them in the dunk bag. And if possible, hang them outside for good, for air ration. All the children are, expect, are expected to bath, and all they are, they are expected to bath in the morning, even before they go to sleep. As you prepare your food, as you prepare your food, work with your children and encourage each child, if possible, to have his mesh kit and let them not mix their mesh kits. Make sure that they keep their mesh kits clean and taking care of them. With this campsite inspection form, you have to follow all the guidelines, the hygiene guidelines, the tents guidelines, the campfire guidelines, the security guidelines. The lighting guideline you have to follow. All your water system you have to follow. Right. As we work with this inspection, it's not to discourage children and other campers, but it's to protect all the campers and all the children who are at the camp. As you'll be planning to set up your campsite, Work with your group and work with your children. Know how to use everything that you have taken to the camp with. Teach everyone, cooperate with everyone. Maintain teamwork. <laughs>